Exchanging the smell of tobacco for the aroma of the hairdressing salon, we visit one of the only places in the world where you can get the haircut and style of your choice and whatever treatment you like for nothing. For this is the research department of a hair cream manufacturer at Brentford, Middlesex, where employees, for obvious reasons, are only too pleased to act as guinea pigs. Each visit is carefully controlled so that the hair is cut to the same length each time and by the same barber to avoid any difference in the way it's cut, which might falsely affect later tests. These cuttings are then subjected to tests to discover the effects on hair structure and growth that have been produced by experiments with hair preparations. It takes about nine months of hair cuts and continuous study of the cuttings to assess these effects. In the laboratory, the hair is weighed and checked against the last entry for this man's hair. Incidentally, the number of hairs on the average scalp is between two and three hundred thousand. Anyway, to return to this series of tests, after the cuttings have been degreased, a series of tests in itself, the elasticity of the hair is measured. A healthy hair should stretch about half its own length when wet and then return to its original length. With this apparatus, the relationship of the weight applied to the hair and the distance it stretches gives a guide to the amount of change that might have occurred. Like some precision bacon slicer, this is called a microtome, and it's as well to make sure the hair that goes through is already detached from its owner, you could lose an awful lot of scalps this way. Next, the bits of hair are magnified 1,000 times under a microscope to examine the condition of the surface. Meanwhile, other members of the staff are having their hairdos free. It's a wonder the job doesn't go to their heads.